Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, first of all, would like to uh, recognize all the veterans out there. Today is uh, Veterans Day, and without you guys, we could not be here. So really, from Orbcom, we really, really appreciate your service and all you've done for our country. Um, Chris and I are going to go over a few things as it relates to our company, Orbcom. Uh, I'm going to go over a few stats about our, about our company, and then Chris is going to highlight our fleet manager platform. Uh, Orbcom has been around since 1993. Uh, we've got over 2.2 million devices on our switch. Uh, if you look at Orbcom, we're the industry's most comprehensive telematic service offering in the market, uh, from rugged and versatile devices to multi-network connectivity. Uh, power in user applications via every layer of the IoT stack. Uh, also, Orb Orbcom offers the most comprehensive suite of M2M and IoT solutions in transportation and logistics. Um, if you think about Orbcom again, uh, we're in trucks, we're in trailers, reefers, cold chain. Uh, we're also in chassis, containers, heavy equipment, and maritime. So you've got telematics and all those different uh, assets with a focus on sensors, solar, uh, long battery life, uh, open architecture, and workflow. We're also a satellite company providing satellite connectivity to companies around the world in rural areas and also as a backup and security blanket to cellular. Uh, our fleet manager portal, which Chris is going to demo, provides the most advanced cloud-based portal in the, in the transportation industry. It's definitely a game changer uh, with emphasis on compliance, on safety, and performance. Uh, Chris is going to highlight a couple of things as it relates to uh, monitoring driver behavior, driver trends, scorecarding, dashboards, and other features. Uh, so with that said, I'm going to turn it over yeah. to Chris Corley. Thank you very much, Mark. You know, Mark talked a little bit about the satellite connectivity, and the nice role about that is the ability to switch automatically seamlessly from cellular to satellite. That gives you a tremendous amount of coverage, not only in areas where you have limited satellite, excuse me, limited cellular coverage, but also in areas where you may have extremely heavy cellular communication. So what we look at here on the uh, Fleet Manager application is a consolidated application that allows you to view not only your tractors, your trailers, your driver information, but also allows you to have an analytics background behind it with full APIs and integration of TMS partners uh, and other uh, supply chain opportunities within that group. So it's centered around four major modules within this group. You have the workspaces, which is going to identify dispatch, temperature, hours of service, vehicle exceptions. And then on top of that, you have reports and configuration. Uh, the configuration allows you to set up not only the reporting behind it, but also allows you to put configurations uh, for grouping uh, and clustering of equipment. So for example, on this fleet that we have here, if I wanted to look at my 2018 equipment uh, based on the groupings behind the scene, I can do that. The first group that you'll see here is 2018 Freightliners with a Detroit diesel 13-liter engine. I also have 2018 Peterbilt 579s and some 2018 T680s. Uh, I can also break those down even further into day cab equipment. But if I wanted to focus on a specific group here, I can simply click onto that. So now I'm looking at the vehicle tab here showing me my, my trucks, my drivers, their duty stats, duty hours available, duration of that cycle count, and not only the location data. Application is extremely flexible, allowing you to identify which data elements you want to expose in this by simply clicking and highlighting the box. Each individual user also has the ability to not only configure what they see, but also to see how that screen is broken down. So you'll have a couple of views here. I can see this in a 100% view where I just have one single aspect showing, or I may split it into 50-50, a 60-40, or in any other number one of these groupings. And then with that, you also have the ability to add different widgets within that application. So you can see very quickly as you click on an asset, it actually is going to follow through with that. Highlighting that tab and that asset brings up not only the breadcrumb trail, but also gives me a quick introduction as to what the fuel level is on it, the drivers or the events at stats to the right. And I can also see full two-way uh, communication. I can also see the workflow data that's been sent to that driver as far as load assignments through integration with TMS, and also when that driver needs to take his next break. So giving you a quick highlight over the asset, you'll see the driver's state, where he's been, how long he's been there, et cetera. On the temperature side, because it is fully integrated with both dry vans and reefers, you'll see refrigerated equipment reporting in here. And for example, if I need to see temperature grids 
or if I need to interact with that equipment, I have that ability to do full two-way command and control of any reefer product out there. Remote access directly into the micro allows me to see not only reefer alarms and data, but also full um, alerts and, and uh, maintenance aspects behind that as well. Uh, and the amount of time that we have left here, I'm going to focus very quickly on the report section. That report section allows me to look at a number of different applications. I can see driver management, location management, performance scoring, and many other aspects in there, including impact monitoring for the equipment. But we'll focus on the performance scoring. So what we have here is a quick view uh, that I preloaded here in the back office, but it actually shows me an anticipation score, idling time, cruise control percentage, and an overall performance scoring based on what this fleet has defined as their, key, uh, their KPIs that they want to manage there. So you'll see basically the, the drivers and the dispatch managers are going to be chasing the green. The driver gets the same view with our ELD product in cab. So he gets not only a, he not only gets to be measured against his peers, but he also gets coaching aspects that feed into that. So we can tell him uh, the shift point is too high, too high on the RPM scale for that particular gear, or maybe you're spending too much time in a, in a particular gear range at top speeds. And the anticipation score that's here on the right kind of gives you a quick overview and lets you know not only how long does it take that driver to come from the brake to the throttle, or throttle to the brake, I should state, but it gives you a pretty good anticipation rating of how well that driver is paying attention to what he's doing. So this feeds into a couple of aspects. It allows you to see not only time from brake or time from throttle to brake, but also lets you know if he's following too closely or if he's being distracted in some other way. And then behind the scenes, you also have fuel performance and monitoring that feed into that data. So you can see not only the information about the fleet in general, but you also have the ability to break that down, as you'll see here in this grouping here, by different power unit types. I uh, see that we're running out of time, so I'd like to invite you to swing by our booth downstairs and let us tell you a little bit more about how Fleet Manager can help your applications today. Thank you. Thanks for your time.